speaker replacement for our 27 inch IMAX 2012 through 2015. We'll need the following tools, two plastic pick prying tools, one metallic prying tool, tweezers, double sided M3 tape, and a tool kit as well as a blow dryer. Let's begin by disconnecting the power cable from the back of the iMac. Go ahead and turn on the blow dryer starting in the top left corner and go around the contour of the iMac. Make sure to have the setting on high and do this for about 7 minutes. After the display is nice and warm, go ahead and pry in with your metallic prying tool at the top left corner. Pry in about half an inch in and go all the way around the entire contour of the iMac. Once you've broken the seal with the metallic tool, go ahead and start with the plastic tool to widen the gap. Take the plastic prying tool, stick it in the same slot and just go all the way around the edges again. Now it's grabbing at each top corner, go ahead and clamp open the iMac up top. Be very careful, once you start cracking this open, there are two connections that are connected to the iMac in the top right quadrant. Let's take a closer look. The connections are the video data cable and the power cable. The video data cable needs to be unlatched first. So with your tweezers, go ahead and pry in underneath and grab the little black tape and pull away from the iMac and the lever and push it up like so. Now you can go ahead and pull out the data cable. The next cable, the power cable, has two plastic clips that should be pressed in from the side, but they hardly ever work, so just pulling it out carefully should do the trick. Now we can lower the screen and break the seal of the tape on the bottom and separate it from the iMac. To separate the speakers, we're going to need a Torx 10 screwdriver bit. The speakers are secured with two T10 screws. Go ahead and loosen up those screws now. With the screws loose, you can go ahead and start prying out the speaker. Go ahead and disconnect the power button that runs along the speaker first. Now start working the speaker out. You might feel a lot of resistance. Be very careful when you're pulling the speaker out for the first time. Now trace out the actual speaker cable that connects it to the logic board. Go ahead and pull that out. Now you can carefully work the power button out of the speaker and just pull it out just like that. The right speaker is also secured with two T T10 screws. Go ahead and loosen up those screws now. With the two T10 screws loose, now go ahead and disconnect the speaker that's connected right there. Just pull it out just like that. Now go ahead, tilt it and work it out. You should feel a lot of resistance pulling this one out. Speaker installation. Go ahead and reinsert the speaker back into its original orientation. Go ahead and reconnect it while you have it loosely set in its socket. Once reconnected, you can correct the speaker positioning inside of its socket. So go ahead and just reconnect it first, then position it. And now you can go ahead and screw in the T10 screws. Once both of those screws are secured, we can go ahead and move on to the left speaker. Move the power button cable out of the way. Make sure you don't jam that up, that's very important. Go ahead and trace out the speaker cable along the hard drive and plug it back into the logic board. Go ahead and plug in the power cable back to the power supply. This is very, very important. 
Now use tweezers to tuck in that power cable. With the power cable tucked in, go ahead and secure the speaker with the two T10 screws. We're now ready to put the screen back. The most important part of a good reinstallation is to remove all residual double-sided tape from the contour of the iMac. Go all the way around, make sure to remove all of it, especially around the antennas. Removing all the foam and double-sided tape allows for a good seal. Once you remove all of it, we can go ahead and apply double-sided M3 tape around the contour of the iMac where the screen is going to be attached. This is a time-consuming process but cannot be avoided. Go ahead and go all the way around the contour. Make sure to apply double-sided tape everywhere that it was previously installed. The next most crucial step is to remove the residual double-sided tape from the screen itself if you're reinstalling a refurbished screen or if this is just putting back your old screen this needs to be removed align the screen at the bottom of the iMac tilt it up go ahead and reconnect the power to the screen first now go ahead and reconnect the data cable by flipping the little lever down putting in the data cable making sure you hear a little click and then flipping down the lever and hear a little click again now we can fully clamshell the screen back to the iMac and apply some pressure all the way around where the double sided tape is. Applying general pressure all the way around should not be a skip step. Go ahead and make sure you go all the way around applying pressure squeezing the screen tight up against the frame even at the bottom.